uniform glass team of lens 2 meters with one end seal contains air at atmospheric pressure. It's pressurized, it's pressed vertically uh, down into a mercury bath until the mercury rises halfway up the glass tube as shown in the figure. If the atmospheric pressure is 76 uh, uh, mercury centimeters, then the depth would be right. So there are two scenarios. Make scenarios take up you know. So what are the two scenarios? First is before this is entering into the mercury. Before the tube enters to mercury. That's the first scenario. And the second scenario is once it has entered into the mercury. So this is the second scenario. Right, here you have an air column of 2 meters, here you have an air column of 1 meter. This height, they say is H. So what you can do is you can apply points to So when you apply points to initially it is two meters. 2 meters into the cross section area. You want to take the volume here, so we'll take the uh, cross section area as A. Uh, P1, V1 is equal to P2V2 is what we apply. So 2 into A into 2 meters, sorry, uh, into pressure. Pressure, that pressure is atmospheric pressure here. Initially, the uh, atmospheric pressure is inside this. Plus, so is equal to uh, second time the pressure here. You can say it's P, then you can write P for the PDR navy. In order to write P, we need this height. I will take a look at the height of the height. So, this is one meter. So, this height, you know, it's h minus one. minus one so you can say now uh, the pressure inside is pi plus h minus one mercury centimeters and the volume is one one meter into a pressure pi plus h minus one Two pi equals to pi plus h minus one. So uh, it's better to write not h minus one but h minus hundred because that is in centimeters. Centimeters are in
Atmospheric pressure is 76 of mercury centimeter. So here you get pi that is 76. One hundred seventy-six centimeters is H. Answer four.